So Lauren and I are here with Jeff and we are on our way to go to the screening, the private screening of my Scientology movie. Get killed. Get in my car. Yeah, away and there's a car coming at us 60 miles an hour. And we are going to worry, the worldwide premiere. In an o the fuck it's called. You get so grumpy, Jeff. Yeah. And we are going to the private screening of the BBC film, my Scientology movie with Louis Theroux and also starring yours truly. So we are just about to go and we're going to give you guys an update when we're in the car. All right, so we're on our way to the premiere of my Scientology movie. We have Jeff, we have Lauren, and we're going to Veggie Grill first, which is right next to the arc light. So we're going to get something to eat with our $5 off coupon <laughs> and then we're going to go to my big Hollywood movie premiere. So stay tuned for the Veggie Grill. Are you excited to see me in my Scientology movie, Jeff? Excited to see me in my Scientology movie? I am very excited to see you in my Scientology movie. Is your Scientology movie? <laughs> it's my personal Scientology movie. <laughs> what was your inspiration in creating this film? My inspiration was... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Jeff, do you want to share a few words to the viewers? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> We're in traffic, guys. I hope we don't miss the movie. That would be such a shame. Well, since it's, there's an hour till the movie starts, I think you're all right. Okay, okay so wait. let's zoom in and see what time it is. <laughs> it is 6.30 on Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. No, it isn't. What's that? It's 6.24. It is 69 degrees, however. Going Arkley. So Lauren and I and Jeff are all getting back from seeing my Scientology movie at the Arclight for the private screening. We had so much fun, so we're going to give you a quick recap. So we walk into the movie theater and they had like little um, seat reserver cards. And there was, a, there was like how many seats reserved for Sia, like the musician like Sia? There was like 10 seats reserved for her for some reason. Never heard And then of her. sitting right in front of us, well, he ended up sitting two rows in front of With us. With Sia. With Sia was Orlando Bloom. And he had some other guy that was with him. Now, we were watching the film, and then I was like so nervous because I'm like, here's like this big A list movie star, and someone who's done a song with Britney, who oh, I love Britney. So of course, Sia's done music with Britney. So, yeah, she's done music. I've never with heard of her. I didn't know. Well, she's done music with Britney, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so amazing. And here's this like A-list star like watching me, like not see, like I'm talking about Orlando Bloom. I'm a little drunk, guys. I drank four glasses of wine at <laughs> the movie. But seriously, though, Orlando Bloom, like an A-list movie star, is watching me talk about Scientology. Like that was so cool. So then afterwards, we all had wine and cheese, no, and we like didn't all have wine. except for Jeff because he's sober. But we all, most of us, had wine and cheese, whatever. And we got to talk to Louis a little bit about the film, and Jeff got to tell Louis what he thought about the film, which was cool because Jeff hasn't seen Louis in probably when was the last time you seen Louis? Like two years ago, three years ago, or something. Remember. So it was nice for Jeff to actually be able to see Louis. And I got to meet Louis. And it was Lauren's first time to actually meet Louie. But then, okay, so I was trying to get Lauren to meet the celebrities I'm with very, us. It's not a thing that I do. I don't like approaching people. I don't like that, especially if I know that they're like a celebrity. I don't like doing any of that. I normally don't either. Like normally if I see a celebrity like in a social situation, I won't. But since it was a movie premiere and I was in the film, I'm like, well, you know what? Who cares? Like I'm just going to go up to them. So I was trying to go up to Orlando Bloom, but Lauren was too nervous to so talk to Lauren Bloom. Because of course she just doesn't do that, but of course me, it's like Scientology says, I'm a fame horse. So of course me, I'm gonna go up to celebrities and introduce myself to try to meet them. Now I also saw Jeff Propes. Is that his name? Like he was like the host of Survivor. He's also like a um, producer as well. So you I was gonna. People have to get out. We do. Or, or I went up to see it, and I'm like, hi, like my name is Steve Mango. Like I was actually in the film. Like. I was the one who gave $50,000 to the church. And then she was some saying something like, oh yeah, like I got all the books for free, yeah. right? She's like, I was on tour with Britney and I got all the books for free and I was in Scientology for six months and yada, yada, yada. I was like, oh my God. But, but the thing is, she honestly was so normal. If anybody's yeah. wondering, she wasn't covering her face. Obviously, because this was very normal. It was like a normal thing. Like she wasn't being her persona as a recording artist. She was just herself. And it was the coolest thing ever, and I love her so much. 
and it was anyway. cool but I started talking to her and she said that she was in Scientology for six months and she started talking but then all of a sudden someone like touched her or grabbed her and then she I turned think it around was Orlando and Bloom because what had happened was somebody came behind her and was like oh and then Orlando Bloom was there and he was like oh I'm leaving whatever whatever so then he ended mm -hmm. up occupying her time and of course I don't I never knew they were friends but apparently they're really good friends they sat next to each other in the movie um, but he ended up just kind of occupying her Sia time. over Steve. So exactly. that's what happened. It wasn't like anything malicious or anything right, like that. Right, right. I really wanted to talk to Orlando Bloom. Like I was trying to get the courage to he talk to him. He honestly was so normal. He was wearing a blue puffy coat. And his hair and was, was like a mess. Yeah, <laughs> and he, he looked really hot. But it's just like I've never been attracted to Orlando Bloom. I've never like had any interest in like big... A-list actors, but he like looked hot, and he was just like yeah. normal, wearing a blue, like royal blue puffy coat. <laughs> Going, like, this he is not Colorado. Like he he's skiing in Aspen or something. <laughs> like he was wearing a blue puffy coat. But, like it's so weird just to know like the public is just like watching you like in that moment. Yeah. It's such a surreal thing. But I did want to talk to Orlando Bloom, but he had to end up going. It was probably better because I drank wine. Like <laughs> I was talking to Andrew Perez, who plays David Miscavige, and. I'm friends with him which so. he was awesome and he really did a good job in his role and he like just honest like just took it over and he was David Miscavige he in was. the film it was fucking awesome like he was electrifying like yeah, I've always I've told him like he's awesome. just such an amazing actor and I was talking to him a bit about like some of the projects he was working on but then I drank a couple glasses of wine and then I went up to him at the end and I'm like, okay, see you Friday. Like, I'm gonna go drink some wine. Like, we're gonna drink wine on Friday. <laughs> I kind of made myself, I was just like all glassy eyed and whatever. Like, I shouldn't drink wine. Wine just, is so good. Wine is so but good, but it just, just didn't work out in the movie. Just to talk about the film a little bit, because obviously I was never in Scientology and I'm not into documentaries, but this documentary was so well put together and Louis Thoreau was so funny and it's he's hilarious. just so quirky and just his personality is just so infectious the documentary was so good and it was so interesting throughout the entire hour and 40 minutes I don't know how long it was but it was so good and so entertaining the whole time that even if you didn't know anything about Scientology it's just so informative and it was really good a really good watch and I really enjoyed it what were you gonna ask oh so what did you think about meeting Karen de la Courier I so I obviously am not familiar with all of the people, but Karen is honestly the cutest person I've ever met in my life. And then is that her husband, Jeff? Jeff. Yeah. So, but he is her husband after she left Scientology, or what? Right, right. Because she was married to Heber Jens, who is the president of Scientology, who is now allegedly locked in SP Hole. Oh. And now she obviously left Scientology, you know, they, tragic things happened with her son, whatever, and of course she's married to Jeff now. Yeah, but, and Jeff mm -hmm. was like, you know, she was in Scientology, and whatever, whatever, and I had no idea, but I think she's, she's the queen of Scientology, she's or she was the queen of Scientology. so cute, I love her so much, she is the cutest person I've ever met in my life, and it's just like, it's so fulfilling, and so, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like, refreshing knowing that people can escape and actually have a life outside of Scientology and just watching the documentary and then kind of putting two two and two together like oh this is what happens when they were in there and it's mind-blowing and I don't understand it and it's so confusing and then seeing them as themselves outside of Scientology and just just being normal people a normal <laughs> person and having a normal life it's so refreshing and she was so cute and I loved her so much so we're going again on Friday for the public opening at Arclight on March 10th you're coming we're going to the 7 p.m. screening if, if any of you guys are in the Los Angeles area I'll be there on Friday night at Arclight in Hollywood I'm happy to meet any of my friends any of my fans any Scientology watchers I'd love to see you all there Lauren will be there as well I'll be there on Friday I'm telling you it is so so good that even if you don't know anything about Scientology or if you have no interest in it and you're like no I'm gonna not want to watch it because I hate Scientology but it's honestly <laughs> such a good documentary and it's so interesting and so just so good and everybody's personality is infectious and the acting and, and you got to meet Louie though too good. which was and great and I got to meet Louie and he's so cute and so fun and 
I just loved it so much. It was really, really good. Okay, well, if you guys want to see my Scientology movie, it will be at Arclight in Hollywood on Friday, March 10th. If you're not in the Los Angeles area, you can see it on demand. You can see it on iTunes, on Amazon Video, and you'll be able to see it um, this upcoming Friday. Um, we will report back to you on Friday at the public screening of my Scientology movie. Bye. All right, bye, guys. Talk to you guys soon.